morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.23, and I'm not waiting till 8.30 this morning uh, to get this out because most of the um, economic news doesn't come until 10 o'clock. So let's get to it. Uh, this is your pre-opening comment for Friday, October 1st, first new day of a new quarter. This is video number 960, and I remind everyone, please, to hit that subscribe button and the notification button. Okay, so uh, Asia is down a bit. Uh, Japan was down 2%, and Hong Kong and China are closed today. So not a lot of influence there. Europe is also down as is the yield on the 10-year. So that's helping the market a bit. Um, actually, uh, last night before I went to sleep, the futures were very weak, down about 150 uh, in the Dow. And currently, the Dow futures are up 180. Uh, NASDAQ is up 37. And uh, the S&P is up 14. Uh, the reason I'm going to guess is the news out of Merck about its COVID-19 pill, which they say cuts uh, issues in half. And they're going to file for um, uh, emergency use, of course. Uh, the stock is 80.90, up $5.79. So that's dramatically helping. Uh, BMW says uh, prices of new and used cars are offsetting the chip shortage. So that's just another supply demand story. Uh, more demand, raise your prices. And that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, Zoom and um, 5.9 calling off their merger not unexpected at all, um, although the uh, response in both stocks is for them to trade higher. Uh, FIVN has actually already come down. It's up a dollar and a quarter this morning, but it had already come down from the expected deal price. Um, it was just short of $15 billion as the Zoom stock came down rather dramatically. So Zoom is up about $10 and uh, FIVN is uh, up a buck and a quarter. Disney and Scarlett Johansson settled their uh, lawsuit over uh, the streaming versus uh, theatrical release of uh, Black Widow. Amazing how badly they panned her and tried to besmirch, this is an old-fashioned word, besmirch her uh, when she sued them. Now they've settled. Speaking about settling, we have that piece of crap, Wells Fargo, up 11 cents because a judge has um, ruled against them, saying that their board and officers uh, committed fraud uh, in the last go around. This is a company that is so deeply ingrained with fraud that, you know, you just never know. It's a stock I would never play, sort of like the China stocks. And uh, Netflix got a new high uh, price target raised from 600 to 685. Um, and Netflix, in case you have missed it, has been making new all-time highs, even while this market has been selling off. So that's actually pretty impressive. Okay, chart on the screen is uh, Bitcoin. And as you can see, it looks like uh, risk on in the cryptos. Um, even though uh, China has come out with all kinds of issues about uh, the fact that they're not going to allow it, uh, just keeps on working higher. So we came back down to this important breakout and held, tried to rally into this breakdown and failed, came back down, made higher lows and has started back up. So this is pretty interesting. Um, 
while it's still not a higher high, and we have these lower highs in this uh, chart, uh, it is pretty impressive. And uh, frankly, you know, I think it could easily get back to this 50-51 area um, without even breaking up to the upside. Uh, but it definitely looks like risk on here. Uh, this Ethereum uh, looks pretty much the same, except that Ethereum almost never sells off as much as Bitcoin and generally tends to outperform on the upside. So we have a 10% move in uh, Bitcoin. We have a 9% move in Ethereum right now. The charts look the same, except that the uh, move to the downside just doesn't look as extreme and held higher up. So uh, like that. And uh, also SOL, uh, Solano, I guess, is the name of it. I follow it on uh, Coinbase, and it's up about 12% today. For some reason, it just gets a lot of action. Uh, the gold is slightly lower, down two-tenths of a percent, but the silver is up one and a half percent. Copper is up 1.8%. The S&P futures uh, that I told you had been up 14 are now up 21. The Dow implied open is up 202 uh, and uh, the nasdaq is now up 57 so all of these things coming on uh, not unusual for the first day of a new quarter or the first day of a new month uh, but we'll have to see how they hold because uh, we've had these rallies every morning and they haven't held uh, just want to remind everyone again about the um, gold-only futures trading account doing really well. Yesterday's move was just terrific, uh, and uh, we are getting awfully close to uh, maxing out the number of accounts that can be carried in this. So uh, give me a call or uh, shoot me an email or a direct message or however you like, and I'll be more than happy to explain the ins and outs of it. Have a good morning.